with this block, we need 16 half square triangles of both the ebony and the, um, this one's called blush. Blush! Blush! What a pretty name, right? Um, so I'm definitely using AccuQuilt to cut those because so easy. They're already dog-eared. So that'll be 12 on this one. And you know what? We're going to do this. I'm going to do a small demo of what you should do to your dies. So um, one of the things that I do to my dies, because they're mine, and it makes it easier, is I actually put my ruler right up next to the blade. And see, I'm drawing this line on the die. And I'm going to go all the way around. We've used this one here before, but... So I'm just drawing a line so that I know where the blades are on the die. And when I'm cutting, for one, this helps me get the angle right on uh, the die because these aren't actually straight on the die itself. There's a little bit of an angle there. So there's that. And so the way this helps me is when I'm laying my fabric across here, I can see what the angle of the die is. So right now I have it laid across like really straight. And so I can line it up. I know where the edge of this die is so that I'm not cutting my um, salvage in with the block. And when I'm fan folding, I know this helps me conserve fabric because I know where the edge of the die is. And so right there, I've got it at the right angle on the die. Don't have a mat though. I'll, I'll be right. Join. Okay. <laughs> so comment and let us know if you use AccuQuilt to cut. For all of you that were asking, we did get the die, our shipment in from AccuQuilt. So we do have the nine inch cube and corners and angles in stock. There you go. And if you want to purchase, be sure and use our coupon code. It's QHQACC. It gets you a discount on the dies and the cubes and the cutters, everything active. Which die is this one? This is die number five. Die number so five. There's 12 and 16. That would take me forever yes. to do. And I'm just going to toss that aside. Don't need those. Definitely like things that can make your creativity go faster. Well, if you're like me, you don't have a lot of time to sew. And anything, whether it be the pre-made binding that makes your project go faster, take advantage of it. My granny always used to say, we knew progress when we saw it. <laughs> Twelve of those. And sixteen. You do want to pay attention to your salvage or straight grain when you're cutting because if you don't, your squares won't be square. So the way this works, it pushes the pressure down on the, the, the fabric and pushes it into the die to cut. And so if you use the stretchy side, the fabric will actually stretch as it goes through and then your squares end up kind of wonky. So we had a question. Um, is the nine inch angles cube is uh, needed for this project um no i think we are only using the uh cube okay so there's nothing in here that like i said this was one of my first projects so there's no complicated blocks in here all easy sewing very fast did you know the ends come off of these and that's how you access the 
beginning of your spool. Oh, that's what that's for. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> okay. So let's change out our colors. Need to wind a bobbin real quick. Yeah, let us know if you have this machine and let us know what you think of it. Or any of the other TL series, um, the TL18, the TL98. So people do love this machine. Okay. And that's why I love this machine, because it just sews so fast. <laughs> Um, 1,200 stitches per minute, is that right? That sounds right. It's fast. It is. Helps if I get the fabric underneath it. It goes up to 1,500. Ooh, 1,500. 1,500. Ooh, there is a rabbit. And cut. And a cut. Cut! <laughs> this little doohickey presses your seams without having to walk over to the iron. And I'm not ready to do that yet. Do we sell the half square triangle by itself? This die? Um, I think we can order it. Okay. So, so that would be a special order. That's not one we keep in stock because these dies... Um, so out of your mat, you can get hundreds of cuts, and out of your dies, you get thousands. So when you're getting close to a thousand cuts on this, it might be time for a replacement, because they do wear out after a while. <laughs> Lots of people love the doohickey tool. Oh, yeah. The whatchamacallit. Do you, is it a whatchamacallit it's or a doohickey? A doohickey? I like the time that it just saves you from, you know, iron and because it's good enough for the next step. This, like, finger pressing is. The tool works well. It does work very well. <laughs> so we should have 16 squares here. Okay. So I do recommend laying this block out so that you get all the shapes going the right direction. Did I? No, I did. Nope. There it is. Nope, just the opposite. Nope. And this is why I lay them out, because I get mixed up with... There we go. It's going to be a really pretty block. It is going to be a really pretty block. So this one I'm going to piece in rows. So normally, um, I would piece like sections, but this one I'm going to piece in rows because I kind of want the um, want all of the seams to line up on this one. A little closer. There we go. And the nice thing about having this cutter like this is you can sew your one piece, press your seam, and then make sure you're sewing the next one the right way. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes something happens from here to here and blocks get turned around. That happened when I was sewing the um, Storm at Sea, the one that Vicki showed you. It's like, all I did was turn. How did this... <laughs> I did a little bit of um, unsewing on that one. And then I'm going to press my seams all in the same direction. So you have to unsew, then re-sew. Unsew, then re-sew, which is like time wasted to me. So 
I don't know how I did it. I think I might have figured it out, but I haven't sewn anything quite that complicated since. So, not really sure yet. Okay, there's one. So not a difficult block. There is a little bit of piecing in this one, but it's only 32 pieces. So we pieced how many blocks in that? Oh my goodness. It was 54. 54. And then I'm going to press my seams the opposite way. I just need to make sure that, yep, maybe, yep. Mm -hmm. So these I'm going to press the seams down. When will these kits be ready? These? Typically, yeah. People they're, have kits. They're ready now, actually. Okay. okay. Um, shipping is $4.99, so we have quite a few people asking us to hold on to theirs. And um, we ship them at a, like a month worth at a time, so we ship four. But you see how easy these blocks are going together. This is a super easy quilt to make. I did some redesigning on it to make it better. You know, things that I've learned along the way, like my sashing should be a little smaller, and the block should be a little bigger on this quilt. So I, I did change, I did make that change. So now I'm going to piece these together. So when I'm sewing these, I'm going to actually aim for this intersection right here. You can see it. I won't be able to see it on this side. Well, that one not. This one doesn't have one. This one does. And that helps me line up those points so that all of my points will line up. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works okay. And then I'm just going to do a couple of locking stitches and then I'm going to line up the seam and make sure it's nested. That's good. Okay. okay, make sure I'm on track, still on track, because this is the point where I was messing up that block on the storm at sea, was sewing the rows together. Somehow I'd end up getting them turned around. Uh, do you... You use a locking stitch when piecing? Um, when I'm piecing my rows together, I do. Um, not so much for the block itself. And when I say rows, I mean like the rows that I'm sewing here, I am using a locking stitch. So far, so good. Okay. Maybe I did. I did. I pressed all my seams the wrong way. Oh. Well, but it's not pressed with the iron. It's super easy to just undo that. Wow. The multi-finger pressure tool comes to life again. Saving so day. Close every time. <laughs> so close, Robert. Multi finger. <laughs> Do it. Doggone it. <laughs> Multi function finger presser tool. Well, That's I like the, the other one better. Multi finger <laughs> <rolls> <laughs> I can just rename them anytime I want. It's my reality. <laughs> you reject. <laughs> I insert <your> my own <laughs> rejectures. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we do have fun here in case you haven't told and figured that out. Gotta have fun. And Robert's a good sport. Nope. I think everybody here is. I have. I like that. Yeah. And 
Voila. Voila. Wow. Let's Ooh, go. That's gorgeous. Let's go over. Oops. <laughs> go over with the iron really quick. <laughs> Always remember to let off some extra steam with your Lord Star. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. So pretty. And it's block two, what? Two A. Block number two A. Row two, block number A. So it's rows and columns. So. Okay. Awesome. There you have it. All done. Nice.